Now let's take a look at our figure 17-12 that deals with uh, a disconnecting means uh, that could be installed in a vault or consisting of metal enclosed switch gear. Now at the very top of the illustration we have the building and we have an air brake isolation switch should be installed here and that may be ahead of that uh, all uh, uh, type uh, CB or some kind of all field type piece of equipment. The transformer is located outside so we have the lateral coming in if it's utility owned see. And, and uh, if you look at the service protection all switch, all circuit breaker or air circuit breaker. The, uh, you know, you, you can find all this information in 490.21. Remember now, we said the conductors, ampacity of conductors, either in conduit, in the ground, in the air, cables, what, what, you could find the ampacity of these conductors in one of the tables in uh, Article 311. Uh, and then if you notice the bottom portion of that illustration, the transformers inside the building or inside a vault and we're routing from the transformer to the uh, overcurrent protection and disconnecting means. And then if you notice, the overcurrent protection and disconnecting means can consist of an all-fuse cutout, uh, a non-automatic all-switch with fuses, uh, say a air load interrupter with fuses, uh, automatic trip circuit breaker, a primary switch interlock with a secondary CB, and we can find this information in 490.21. Then as you can see here, uh, this illustration deals with uh, 230.208A of the NEC as well as 490.21E. So basically this figure 17-12 is illustrating where the transformers outside the building routed to the disconnecting means or the transformers inside the building are in a vault and then the secondary conductors is routed to the disconnecting means whether it be any one of those that you see in the boxed in information overcurrent protection and disconnecting means. Now that's what this uh, figure 17-12 is illustrating to the user of the NEC.